Hello, I'm Barudin. Welcome to the tutorial of how to install Drupal on my Ubuntu box machine. Here, I'd like to show you the way how to install Drupal 7. First thing first, you have to make sure that your server is already running. Here, I use an exam server. So, I would start it first over here. I use my terminal and then sudo su for super user. I use password and then go to op slash opt lamp lamp and start head enter like this and you could see that exam starting apache okay and then mysql is okay already and then uh, i want to check test it into my browser over here using a Firefox and the address bar I would like to type a local host for my local machine server and here it works you could see that my exam is already running and also we have to make sure that our MySQL server is already works too and you could see my PHP my admin the PHP my admin already loaded and the next step is we're going to the htdocs directory of lamp uh, using cd lamp Sorry, OBT lamp HD docs like this LS for listing files and directory. You can see that here I already downloaded the Drupal Dash7.50.tar.gz from Drupal.org, the official site of Drupal. I would like to extract it using tar command xzvf Drupal. I hit enter and then you could see that uh, all the files is already extracted and then uh, ls again for listing files in directory and here I have Drupal-750 directory and then I move it into Drupal directory like this. Hit enter again, ls again to check it. And here I've already renamed the Drupal 7.50 here to be Drupal directory. Next, I I will install my Drupal using the Drupal the local host slash Drupal like this enter and then this is the welcome screen of installing Drupal this is the first step uh, hit uh, save and continue and again I hit save and continue and here you could see that it's a little problem. There are two problems, the file system and the settings file. Uh, how would I solve this problem? I will show you here. I go to htdocs and then I create a new file called, let's say, uh, who am I? PHP, enter and here I will type PHP script like this and then echo parenthesis exec uh, double quote who am I and then the closing PHP code I hit Control X to escape, and then here we want to save by hitting a Y. Yes, for yes, and then 
I will access the file into my browser like this localhost where am I where am I dot PHP and you could see the the page rendered here is daemon daemon is the user should be the user who has privilege to this AC docs directory so here I go to the upper level directory using cd uh, that, that command like this and then I change the ownership the ownership of the directory using chown minus capital R and uh, daemon as the user and then htdocs slash drupal like this hit enter and let's go and check again the drupal installation of here I reload the page and you could see the problem is now gone away uh, here I will set up the da database but I haven't created yet here I would like to show you how to create a database using my localhost localhost PHP my admin Yeah, php my admin <clears throat> so the address is localhost slash php my admin and then I hit new for creating new databases uh, for this I would like to create a Drupal database like this hit create to execute the command and then Drupal database has been created and I go back to my Drupal installation over here I supply the name, input the name of the database, Drupal, database name, root, and I hit save and continue. And right here, the Drupal is now installing the nodes, the modules, and everything uh, within the Drupal core. Uh, installing the profile you could see over here in the left sidebar uh, we can wait here for a while yeah we have to wait it until 100 <clears throat> percent and Drupal installation is now complete 100 percent the next is uh, setting up the final uh, configuration of our, our website here you could see the last step is configuring the site so the site name here I would use a Drupal tutorial Drupal tutorial and then my site email address I, this is my site my email info and then oh, sorry this is the username I use my name and then info uh, here I input my password administration for Drupal and then I select the country Indonesia here I would supply the time zone of mine and it is uh, Asia Makassar and then uh, you have to make sure that all both of these uh, should be checked and uh, hit save and continue uh, this is the pop-up of uh, remembering the password uh, never remember
and uh, here this is the final step of our installation you could see in the left sidebar uh, it's already finished and you could go and hit finish your new site to view your own website like this and welcome to Drupal installation that's the final uh, step of installing Drupal 7 on your local machine using uh, Ubuntu box thank you for watching